So here I've got five pounds of uh, ammonium nitrate that I'll be using as my, my precursor chemical to making um, nitric acid um, through a reaction I'll show later. But anyways, um, I got this. I'm not very confident in the purity exactly because if you see here, there's like little particulate matter. And then when I got it, I found a... Oh, there it is. I found a piece of corn. And then whatever like little things like that is. So I don't know why there's pieces of corn in my ammonium nitrate. I mean, it is obviously a fertilizer, but it's just, it, it's disheartening. So I'm going to recrystallize all of this. And I probably was going to end up doing this anyways, because if you look at it, it's in a, a prilled or like a little beaded form and it's, it's ugly. So I will uh, get this set up real quick. And here we go. The ammonium nitrate has just been added to about 2,000 milliliters of water. And you can see it has a pretty, pretty large displacement. Um, yeah, this like discoloration and like particulate matter floating all over the place is exactly what I'm trying to remove. And before I do the crystallization uh, by decreasing the volume, I am planning to, uh, to do a filtration, of course. And, and this is obviously gonna take a long time to dissolve because uh, like I said, ammonium nitrates in cold packs, and the more ammonium nitrate you have in there um, dissolving, the colder the solution is going to get, which is thus reducing the solubility, and it's like a cycle until it all gets to an equilibrium at room temperature, and then it will be uh, surely all dissolved. Well, it's been about two hours, and this stuff hasn't um, dissolved quite yet, so I've been stirring it occasionally, and... Um, I think I'm going to heat it up to dissolve it all, and then I'll do a, a vacuum filtration while it's hot. With the ammonium nitrate now dissolved, we can um, filter it through solution, turning on the vacuum pump. You can see there's lots of sediment attached to the ammonium nitrate. Anyways, I'll finish this up. Uh, with the mixture now um, filtered off, and purified, we can now begin to boil off some of this liquid and thus concentrate the salts so that they crystallize back out of solution. This is a ridiculous amount of liquid to boil off. As you can see, we've gone about um, almost, just, just not quite a thousand milliliters, but pretty close, and <laughs> this is taking forever. It's an extremely concentrated solution. It's weird to think that there's five pounds of salt inside of that liquid and you can't barely even tell other than it being slightly discolored due to the presence of the ammonium nitrate. So you can see that the body of our solution has been greatly reduced and I've just turned off the heating as you can see. And so look by just looking at the, the glass on the outside you can see this, this swirling motion right there and that is just that's showing how saturated the solution is with salt. And you can even tell by them looking at the side, um, they have a bit of a, like a whitish opaqueness to them, the droplets do, and that is showing that there's salt content even in the spray. And this was beginning to spurt, sputter a little bit um, as it was so saturated. And so now that the temperature is um, turned off, the solubility of the ammonium nitrate in solution is going to greatly decrease. And as this does um, lower, we should um, have our ammonium nitrate crystals crystallize out of solution, which we can collect and then dry those off, and then the remaining solution can be boiled down further to make a super saturated solution again, and then we can collect those salts. So here's all the crystals I was able to pull out of the, the saturated solution um, the first time. 
I got them drying under a heat lamp right now. And uh, they're mostly dry because I vacuum filtered them, which is actually a really big pain because what happened was, um, as the solution was super saturated and the filtering process was relatively slow, the crystals would actually precipitate inside of the porous disc and thus making it impossible for anything to flow through. And so I finally got that finished and I had to add some water multiple times to the porous disc to allow anything to come through. And so that ended up increasing the body of solution again, which I'll have to boil a lot more of this away, probably down to about a thousand milliliters before I can get anything to crystallize back out. Down to a thousand milliliters and ready for filtration. With another handsome amount of salt removed, I will uh, begin to boil the solution down again. And uh, once I finish crystallizing everything here, uh, I will show you what it looks like after the final product is dried and crushed into a fine powder. After a lot of work, I've arrived at the final result here. Um, came out to be pretty close to five pounds again of ammonium nitrate. And you can see, um, uh, there's still some clumps in here that I didn't manage to pulverize down because I was ending up using a pastel and mortar which took a long time as you can imagine probably and um, yeah this is definitely um, a lot more pure than the product I started with and there you have it five pounds of ammonium nitrate